Hello everybody, welcome to Glass Half Dead's Beginner's Guide to a Kill Team Tournament. What you need to do before you go. And then we're going to get there and we're going to see just how terribly I do. The first thing you're going to want to do for a tournament is this right here. You want to print off at least one copy of the tournament rule pack. I've done that. Yours doesn't have to be in colour, obviously. Uh, and there you go. This is all the good stuff I'm going to need to follow. I can't flick through it. Uh, all of the rules right there. One of those pages is going to have your secondary objectives. I would recommend printing out two copies of secondary objectives because chances are good your opponent might need to borrow one. Even though it says in the tournament pack that you should be printing this off and bringing it, Dodgy, you know, not everybody does it. The next thing you need to do is decide which faction you want to take. Now, obviously, here we have some Necrons. I consider them my mainstay. But um, there are other things to consider as well. Uh, this might take a while. And then once you've figured out what you want to do, in this case, I've already decided I am going to go... Uh, Grey Knights. Why Grey Knights? Fair question. Oh, I can't find the box. Crap. Um, two reasons. One, because I find that they are a super swingy army, and in a tournament perspective, that's kind of not great. Because of that reason, I think I'm not going to be playing them anymore, but I have made some beautiful models that I really want to show. They're fully painted, etc. So this is going to be my last... Tournament showing of Grey Knights, I've decided. So once you've decided that, you then want to print out two copies of your entire roster. There you go. A stunning roster. For anybody curious, um, this is really only about five, mo six, maybe seven models. Uh, these three incinerators, these three side cannons, and these three silencers are all one model. Um, it's just depending how if I want to take them on their own or with another gunner, uh, whether I'm taking a demo or a veteran or a heavy for each of the different ones, or if I'm already taking a combat and a zealot from my regular Grey Knights and I want to run them as a normal so that they don't have a spec. So the top half of that is basically two models uh, plus leaders. Uh, and then I've I've put in, because I have so many slots, I have enough spaces that I can do a, a full demon hammer time, uh, you know, hammer time list. So I could take my leader with the demon hammer and then a combat and a zealot. If I really want to go nuts, I can do that. Uh, but generally, my list is actually going to be, and I'm going to tell you now because I think for every, probably every match it's going to be uh, just a car, leader, Nemesis Falchions, one of the gunners, I don't know which, it's going to change depending on the enemy, uh, and then I'm going to take a regular Nemesis Falchion, normal, probably, uh, and then a Nemesis Falchion Zealot, Nemesis Falchion Combat. I do have the potential to take a comms, if I so desire, not really sure. Now, what you should do that I haven't done is practice the tournament pack before you go. I haven't done that, it's too late, it's literally the night before. So just so you know, this tournament, as I said, because I'm taking the GK, I'm not really trying to win much. Um, I just want to go there, have fun. Uh, if, if I win, uh, you know what? I It's a five round tournament, I would like to win two games. There you go. That's my official goal, if I win two games, I'll be happy to stay in the bottom half of the rankings, no problem. Okay, let's go, and the rest of this portion of the video, now that we've done the beginner setup, everything you need to go is going to be my actual uh, opponents, the lists they play, and then a little wrap-up afterwards about how the game went for both of us. Uh, hopefully you will be able to actually hear us, because... Uh, it's going to get very noisy in there. Right, I should probably add, you're going to want to actually take your models. 
obviously. You also want to take a tape measure. And you want to take all of your dice, tokens, measuring implements, etc. The reason I add this is because as soon as I stopped recording, I literally walked out of the room. I was about to leave without anything here. So don't forget to put everything I just talked about in your f- in your bag. I will not swear. How uncouth. What am I? A Tory? The other thing I would have to recommend is clothing. Make sure it's venue appropriate. What that normally means is, is it going to be cold? Wrap up. Is it going to be warm? Dress down? And whatever you wear, make sure that whoever looks at you knows that you're passionate for Kill Team and that your virginity has never been taken. So yeah, definitely get on that. We have two drones uh, who are both gun drones. Uh, drone, drone phase one and two. Here we have my sniper demo and comms rail finder who are obviously not cheesy at any, in any way. Backed up with the recon drone. Two more gun drones down here. And then a gun drone and my leader up here. Uh, which is the stealth suit with the burst cannon. Uh, with target lock and market light. Okay, everyone. Pete. Hi, how's it going? We just played Tau versus Grey Knights. How do you think it went? Uh, I think very successfully for the Tau. I think it was a decisive strategy to get tabled in turn four. That was central to my plan. Yes, yes. It's, um... Let's, as you rightfully pointed out, it makes my shirt <laughs> kind of not true. Yeah, yeah, that's my bad there. Um, I think one of the big issues was you got really unlucky yeah. rolls turn one. Yeah, that was a down. Um, um, yeah. Slightly heartbreaking, but... Yeah, you know, yeah. So. I mean, you, you killed two models turn two yeah. and got a flesh wound, yeah. I think, all on the same yeah, turn. Uh, or maybe the flesh wound was turn three. I think the flesh room was turn one and then turn two. Oh, okay. I find okay. that, like, but it took far too much to, yes. get, to get there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But it was a lot of fun. It, yeah. it was my first yeah. tournament game as well. Oh, so that's okay. Great. How so, did you um, how did you find your first tournament? Are you were you nervous to come? Um, not really like very low oh, okay. expectations. It was kind of just like I know I'm gonna get wrecked, so I okay. have fun doing it and that that's the only thing that matters. And, and if I win a couple of games, great. Yeah. If I have fun. That's, that's the main thing. Okay. I'm here with a few friends of my brother, oh, so it's, uh, it's nice to sort of be down. And obviously, the main goal is beating my brother. Obviously, that's, yes. You know, in a yes. collegiate yes. family kind of way. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Not like physically. No, 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 that would be. Like, with a bit of kind of thing. Okay. But, uh, but no, it's been a lot of fun so far. I'm looking forward to the rest of the game. Yeah, well, um, roll better. Would be my, yeah. That's genuinely that's my only advice, yeah. actually. Yeah. Okay. Because you, I don't think you did anything wrong. Yeah. Um, you could have. The only thing I would have changed is your stealth suit. Yeah. Uh, if you had actually, passion. yeah, if you yeah. you only had to move him yeah. like an inch yeah. to be on the point. I know we had it. Yeah. 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 Oh. That's probably the only major yeah. issue. But that's like yeah. an inch of movement, you know. Yeah. Um, but it wouldn't have made yeah. much difference in the game. You were still lost. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it was fun. It was yeah. a good game, right? and it was um, it's a nice introduction to the, to the oh. tournament thing, isn't it? So, awesome. I, was, I appreciate that, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Play Green is a great play cleaver. Are you making a little normal uh, play Green? Nothing uh, special about him. Um, a heavy with a flight launcher. A leader with uh, a passive yeah, um, plate source. And um, a zealot specialist. And how many pox walkers? Okay. So I'm here on my own this time because my opponent didn't want to be uh, interviewed. Totally fine. He's actually my first refusal. I'm surprised that he's my first because um, this is a really weird thing to ask. Anyway, so he was Death Guard and I tabled him at the end of turn three. Uh, I got some. I, I was making amazing psychic rolls the whole time. I think every every single psychic took somebody out. Um, he didn't get very lucky, and then after how well turn one went for me, uh, he didn't really manage to pull it back 
and it ended with me scoring 15, maxing two secondaries, uh, never scoring proximity alert. I, I figured he would be charging me more. Um, and then he got two. Uh, interestingly, I did take uh, Death from Afar, which I managed to max because I took an incinerator. So he scored it twice. And then I think um, I actually scored it once with just a regular Stormbox because I was deliberately keeping certain models alive and not killing them with an easier shot so that I could get the Death from Afar. There is behind here. Uh, it's uh, a Vanguard Alpha. Uh, I got uh, my specialist, uh, Fulgurite is a combat, a sniper with a plasma caliber, and a comms with only space. And then I got a Corpus Cario Electrobrist, a Sicarian uh, Infiltrator, uh, which has uh, a power sword uh, and a star carbine. And then an Infiltrator Princess, uh, with a passive board and a flat blaster, and another uh, um, Alpha, Ranger. Okay, here's Antonio. We just finished playing. What were we playing? Uh, Raised Archive. What's the Archive? Raised yeah. Archive. Um, you just saw his list, which are uh, Admec. Indeed, yes. Yeah. How did it go? I think it was very tight. Um, yeah. My plan at the beginning was to put my infiltrators uh, uh, on front, and yeah. it worked well because yes. uh, uh, they got one wound. Uh, each, uh, yeah, each. Yeah. so they were still on the table. Um, I think uh, what really, I mean, my shooting wasn't great, but to be fair, your shooting wasn't great either. <laughs> so I think that balanced up. I think I was leading uh, in Patron yes. 1, Patron yeah, 2. Yeah. What changed the game, I think, was um, my Corpus Cari uh, on the objective, turn yeah, 3, yeah. Uh, that got shaken. He yeah. needed uh, up to 4 and the rolled this 5. Yes. Yeah. Got shaken, that lost me the objective. Yeah. And they gave you uh, extra points, yeah. uh, primary points. And at the end, um, my leader was uh, uh, was doing the evaluate fine and again got shaken. Yeah. Uh, and that lost me a couple of points as well mm, uh, mm. because it would have been on that objective. Yes. So I think that was, uh, it was a very close game, it was a very, very good game, I really it. Enjoyed was. It. I yeah. think for you, I had a really good first turn. You positioned your infiltrators really well, so my cybots didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, they took a wound each, but then I managed to kill both infiltrators, yes. turn one. Yes. That's obviously really big. Um, and the other big thing, turn one, your little, uh, you know, the, the standard plasma caliber, comms, or mm -hmm. uh, omnispecs, didn't get a kill turn one. Yeah. I think he got a kill every other turn. Yeah, oh, I, two. I, I, two, oh. I got two kills uh, yeah. over the four rounds. Um, but you failed turn one, you only got a flesh wound? Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah that, so, was, that was big. Yeah, but I think, you know, the two guys that got shaken on the objectives, that were really yes. gave you the extra yeah, points. Uh, Until because then, then again, I thought you were going to win. Even though I was killing your models, models I was like, I can't yeah. come back from points. Yeah. But yeah, you managed it in the end. You know, it, I could have killed someone else, you know, with my plasma, but you could have killed uh, yeah, a little sure, bit more yeah, with yeah. your, so it sort of, sort of balanced that, yeah. you know, on the, yeah. but it was, a, it was an exciting game. Yes, thank <laughs> really you. Enjoyed. Yeah, so I've got um, four regular Guardian Defenders, one, two, three, four, Leader, Storm, Storm Guardian, Handling Banshee Exarch, um, this guy's an Exarch as well, Die Avenger Exarch. Two fusion guns, star cannon, and bombs. What does the Howling Banshee have? Uh, so this guy is a veteran, and this guy is a scout. Okay. Okay. Are you here? We just played as the only of us. Great night. How did that go? Not pretty well for me. Um, yeah. I think uh, I've heard you done well. First couple of games today, in town, winning some big lists. Yeah. I think you just burned all your sixes and fives, and you know, like, I did. Yeah. No, 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 I, I definitely did. Yeah. And uh, they all turned out for me first turn. I say first turn. First turn, you lost one of perils and one of the true kind of ball. And you, know, you can't bail on that. So, uh, uh, and Banshee. Yeah. And so Banshee, I, yeah. So I lost three to one. Yeah. Um, I broke to one. And one of my guys that was on a point shook turn one. Yeah. Um, and then he died there to a safety which is Yeah. Well, yeah, but that, that was fine. I'd give it up at that point. Um, so you max scored. Yeah. I scored zero. Um, as I was saying, I had I'd assumed some of my games were going to go that way. Yeah. Uh, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but you are a regular spa partner. Yes. So it would be nice if it hadn't been against you. 
well, that's the way it goes. Yeah, I mean, I was very afraid this match up, especially after you had um, cleaned up today. But yes. um, yeah, but yeah I, very nice to swing in. Any of these team are swinging. And, uh, swing that's the way away. it goes. Uh, yeah, awesome. Thanks, good game. You too. Thank you. So, 10 men, yeah. twist break. Leader. Sorcerer, combat. Ray Horns out. Rubik, Lamer, veteran. Six angle. Daniel, we just played Grey Knights vs. Thousand Sons. How did that go? Um, just like it went badly. <laughs> Very badly. <laughs> so, a fair few guys out the first couple of turns, so. Yeah, so I managed to deny every psychic you had. Yeah. Uh, you, you did only take a sorcerer though, so you weren't doing Yeah, so I did one psychic. Um, I, I had wanted to use, kind of rubbing something in the wound here, sorry, but I had really wanted to use the new Grey Knights tactic where if you deny, um, successfully they take a mortal wound. I didn't, ah. I'd always used a CP by that point. Um, and I've had the sorcerer, I could have had two wings for that as well. Yes, that's true. That's true. The scarab one. Yeah. Um, how, how did it go? The, the 40 points is quite painful on that, so yeah, I want yeah. the guys. <laughs> no, definitely. Uh, I think at 100 points, it's a bit of a fool's errand taking that, uh, taking the sorcerer, uh, the scarab sorcerer. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I won. Um, quite decisively, I think. I, I didn't table you. You had one guy left by the end, but... Um, very shaking, so technically. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. So, turn one, it was actually really close. Turn one, yeah. I, you killed my, um, my incinerator, turn yep. one. Uh, and I had the three objectives and the flame was still yes. alive at that point. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was really concerned, but then, turn two, I managed to get a successful cypher, killed your war flamer. Yep. Um, and also a random zangle, yep. and then I think the next enough, turn, so. I killed your, your sorcerer yeah. and another Zangor. Did I kill two guys every psychic turn? Really? Oh, you got um, two or three elevens as well? So you got multiple wounds at some other times. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was rolling really well. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it didn't peril this time. In my last game, I perilled. I've got yeah. perils today as well. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I managed to play thousands of about periling in a tournament. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Or at least twice normally. Fair enough, fair uh, Did you have any other thoughts? Did you think where you went wrong, where I went right? Or was it just I died to you, which I did, to be clear? Yeah. Well, the, I think the first, earlier it was worth going right. And yes. It was just that little tilt of the flame of being the end and the sorcerer being the, the end of it. Because they're the two yes. sturdy guys yeah. other than the yeah. Zangor. Yeah. You know what? I don't think you made any of your Zangor five up involves either. Mm. Like, yeah, you weren't. I've been lucky with them earlier in the game, so right. I've had my fair amount of luck with them earlier, so. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay, everybody, and there we have the tournament all wrapped up. I managed to place third in the end with my Grey Knights, winning a total of four games. Considering I only wanted, well, wanted to win two out of the five, that's a pretty good day, and I think a really good way to retire my Grey Knights. But enough about me. Let's talk a little bit about not the tournament itself per se. You've already heard all of that. Let's talk about the tournament from a beginner's perspective. I feel a lot of people possibly don't go to tournaments because they're possibly scared. So I want to bring up the three tournament moments that there were. Like, uh, what, what's the best way to describe it? Gamer moments, if you will. Kind of the way... Okay, so let me just explain them. You know, I think a lot of people feel that when they go to a tournament, somebody is going to say, Hey... You don't know the rules well enough. You shouldn't be playing. Hey, you're playing too slowly. Keep up. Something like that. So I'm going to tell you the three moments, and there, because there were only three moments, where something in a tournament game happened that wouldn't have happened in a casual game. The very first one happened in the first game against the Tau there. Uh, and what that was, was my opponent... Um, was going to shoot me with one of his drones and he said oh I can't see you and I was and it looked to me like he probably could so I said are you sure looks like you can uh, and he said no I can only see the tip of your sword to which I said that's yeah you can shoot me that's totally fine uh, so obviously in a more casual game it's kind of you know accepted that you can't shoot tips of weapons um, aerials etc but I feel in a tournament that kind of stuff is a go, 
because that's the rules as written. So I gave him the shot, and that was fine. So that's a bit of a tournament moment. The second was, uh, you know, that was where I gave my opponent the advantage. So that's a good feeling, actually. That, that was a positive. The second was actually where I took away my opponent's ability to do something. That was in the third game against the Admech there, where I think it was the third round, he rolled his nerve check and he broke. He failed the nerve check and he said, oh, you know what? I'm going to use um, the, the tactic, True Grit, that allows me to also pass the nerve test. To which I said, well, you can't do that. Like, if he had just said, oh, I'm going to roll my, I'm gonna roll my check uh, for this nerve test. But then before he rolled the dice, he said, oh, actually, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass it. That would be fine, because I don't care what somebody says before the dice are rolled. However, because he rolled the dice and failed, then said, oh, I'll, I'll just also pass it. I, I, and I felt really bad. I had to say, uh, actually, you can't. Like... If he had passed the check and then kind of absent-mindedly said, "Oh yeah, I'd meant to, I'd meant to auto pass it." Whoops! Then obviously I'd have said, "Oh well, doesn't matter. You know, you, this has come out well for you." But I had to stop him. And now in a more casual game, I would have almost certainly said, oh, "Okay, fine, whatever." Uh, but because this was a tournament and this was actually a very crucial point. Um, it was probably him breaking turn three and four with his models there that were on objectives that I I had to had to be that gamer and say, actually, you can't do that. So felt a bit bad about doing that. But that, again, a bit of a tournament moment there. And then the third tournament moment happened in the fourth game, and it was my opponent penalising me. So we had just mustered our forces, and I had taken the same list, that I had taken against everybody else. However, after taking it and telling him what everything was, I kind of realised that I didn't want my incinerator to be a veteran. I still wanted the incinerator, didn't want him to be a veteran, because this was against the Azayani here, and I knew that his... Uh, and he'd also just been over his list. And I knew that his list, uh, he has a Howling Banshee as a veteran, and his Howling Banshee was going to make my veteran move co a complete waste. So I'd have rather taken him as uh, a heavy for a plus one um, shot or a demo. And then my silencer as a heavy, more likely. So that was the thought. And so I said, oh, do you mind if I change my roster? And he very awkwardly, uh, kind of, uh, to which I then said, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, like that. So that's kind of my bad. I shouldn't have even asked. You know, I shouldn't have even asked. Um, he didn't technically deny me, but he was obviously going to. But I rescinded my request before he, before he did. And again, if it was a casual game, I have no doubt that he'd have said, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Those were the three tournament moments. And if you heard those three moments, and this is somebody that got to the top three, and one of those players was the first. Right, So we were all playing very strict games. So if you heard those three things and you thought, that's really not that big of a deal, I think I could handle that, I would highly recommend that there is nothing for you to be afraid of if you ever want to go to a Kill Team tournament. Because again, that was genuinely me at my strictest play against someone that had never been to a tournament before and was just there to try and beat his brother. Uh, and against, uh, yeah, everybody else as well. So, and there were no other rules issues I ever had to call out. If, to be honest, I was the one making most of the mistakes. I, in, again, in my first game, somebody that was watching my game pointed out that actually Grey Knights uh, do have, and they show, is it, and they show no no fear? Where you get to re-roll nerve checks. I didn't realise Grey Knights had that. So, because he pointed that out, as a third party, I re-rolled my nerve check, and I didn't break. So that was incredibly lucky for me. So I, I really wouldn't worry. If you're concerned about the rules, don't be. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, this has been my kind of brief little introduction to a beginner's guide, if you will, to playing in the tournament. Then you got to see the tournament. You got to see everybody's little breakdown of their games. And then my final little wrap-up here and... 
isn't this a cute shirt? Um, and doesn't look good in the V-neck, I've got to say. This would be Glass Half Dead. It would be awesome if you like this content, if you like what I'm doing here for Kill Team. I'd love to try and give you more Kill Team content. However, the only way I can do that is if I get, and I know this sounds terrible, but it's actually true. If you hit me with a like, a subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Also, if you want to check out my Patreon, that would be really cool. All of the money you give me is going straight back into my channel. I'm hoping to do more con content for you. Um, I'm hoping to start doing regular streams. So like on the weekend, maybe, you know, depending on how much support I get. Uh, twice a week streams of live Kill Team with some of the players that came first, second, third there. I came third, so that would be me. But yeah, people that are winning tournaments, I want to be able to try and show you guys their casual games. See how they build a list. Take it from, this is an idea all the way up to this is a tournament winning list and you know what like other people maybe kill team isn't your only passion maybe you have others if like me you're into you know computer games that kind of thing i do have a second channel i've genuinely just started it if you want to drop over there it's called endgame sata have fun trying to spell that uh there's a link in the description anyway this is big glass update i hope you've enjoyed this if this has inspired you to go to a tournament or if this has helped you in any way i'd love to know drop a comment that'd be great anyway i hope you've had a good day hope you continue to have a good day goodbye